time. There must be no chance of the ship remaining alive. Make certain. Be careful of the children. Challenge, Corporal. Oh, forget the formalities, laddie. We'll all be kissing this place goodbye in the morning. Kilometers, sir. Did you see anything unusual, irregular? Nay, sir. Nothing? Nothing at all? No. Oh, only uh, Jala, the wine merchant, coming in behind us, sir. Very good, Corporal. Oh, excuse me, sir. But, uh, how is Captain Moncler, sir? Resting comfortably, Corporal. Thank you, sir. That's good to hear. What did he mean, did we see anything? What were we supposed to see? Mirages, laddie. Dancing lasses in shimmering silk popping around amidst champagne bubbles. He didn't look like that was what he meant. Ah, the Lieutenant Marquis. He's always upset about something. Maybe he has a right to be. What are you jowing about? There is a rumor, just a rumor, that no wireless report has been received from our relief column today. Now, 
If you ask me... Shut up. You talk too much. Is there anything to it, Diego? We will leave tomorrow morning, as planned. Now, water your horses. This is a fort, not a barnyard for cackling hens. Any word yet? Just came in. Their transmitting equipment broke down. Oh, so that was it, huh? Well, good. When are you going to have this foolish masterpiece finished, eh? Even if it is never used, I will have the only television set in all the Sahara Desert. That is an achievement. That is crazy. Hey, what do you suppose is on his tail? Is it possible that his television set is working? <laughs> that I don't. More likely there's a report from the relief column. Wireless dispatch just came in for the captain, Doctor. Coming, Cochran. Oh, no, Kleindel, not again. I will die soon enough. Why are you rushing me? Huh? Mm. Sedatives tasted like cognac. You would be a world of invalids. <sighs> By the way, Kleiner, speaking of cognac. No. <clears throat> Pardon, Commandant. Yes, Captain. From El Sada's ether. Your helicopter is on the way and should arrive at any time. I see. Thank you, Captain. Uh, by the way, what about the relief column? Have you managed to raise them yet? Not a word, sir. Does anyone know? No, sir. But Sergeant Diapo was asking, sir. What did you tell him? Just as you had instructed, that we have heard from them. Oh, yeah. Entree. Commandant, the patrol reports nothing in sight. No trouble at all. What do you think, sir? What do I think? Nothing. What is there to think? No, Marquis, ten years ago, we might have expected trouble. Uh, an Arab or Berber attack. But there hasn't been a rumble from the Ritz, Dilacs, or Bormones for years. And even then, I wouldn't worry. With Malcolm leading the relief column. Malcolm? Is that the American? The one they call the uh, Le Marteau? Yes. Captain David Malcolm. My replacement. A real nail splitter. Young, but a legionnaire. Formidable. He could lead a hundred grandmothers through the Boxer Rebellion without disturbing their coiffeur. <laughs> Le Marteau. The hammer. It is romantic. I confess I feel slighted that my commands never found a name for me. Oh, I have heard to the contrary, Commander. Aha. Then I would prefer a name which would bear repetition, Captain. <laughs> Hello. Remember, we only know that the relief column is not due for several hours and that they have failed to make their daily wireless report. And perhaps the equipment. Perhaps. You keep your earphones glued to your head and report to me the moment you hear anything at all. Yes, sir. I could buy a hundred cavalry horses for all the haggling we have done for these two skins of wine. As we both know, Sergeant, Allah wishes men to talk much before they do business. Well, I pity my poor replacement. He will have to put up with your browbeating from now on. Ah, yes, the replacement. I saw no sign of them. Don't worry, they will be here. If it is Allah's wish. Allah has got nothing to do with it. The Legion still takes its orders from Algiers. Look at the apple. He tells us liquor is forbidden in the compound, and he buys it right out there in the broad daylight. He doesn't buy it for himself, Lucky. We all drink a farewell toast to this prison before we leave. I say, did I hear someone mention something about a farewell toast or something? <laughs> Heaver has been saying farewell ever since he got here. I don't think that's very funny. You Scots have a weird sense of humor, I must say. You must have enough of that Arab hoot stashed around to float the fort away. Hardly, Rex, old boy. But I uh, might manage a little one all round.
need Taylor men to meet the helicopter. Yes, sir. The section, fall in. Limp. Ah, got a devil. Arm, so let's go. Huh? No. You first take men, call them by twos. All right, what? Hang! On the move! Mush! Threaten up your caps, you look like a band of gypsy rag pickers. It's a heck of an army that don't give a man a chance to get his britches on. Marto. David Malcolm. Well, I'll be darned. Come on in. 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 Come on How are you, Joe? Very fine, Capitan. But I, I hope you will forgive us. It was such a surprise. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Hello, Sandy. It's good to see you, Captain. Hello, Gabin. Captain Malcolm. It's nice to see you again. I thought you'd be home in Paris by now. Mm, very soon, Captain. I hope. What's your name, Legionnaire? Tile, Rex. Private, sir. Where are you from? Texas, sir. You're not a cop hunter now, Tile. Don't dress like one. Havers, Peter Ambrose, Private. How do you do, sir? Have you been drinking, Havers? Sergeant, I want to see this man later. Yes, sir. Still around, eh, Duco? How's the captain? He could be better, sir. Have Lieutenant Rene meet me at the captain's quarters. Who is Lieutenant Rene? The officer in charge of my company, the replacement. But they have not arrived yet, Captain. Oh? Thank you, Sergeant. Carry on. Rene, hello. Oh, no matter what rumors you may have heard from the Latrine Secret Service, the column will still arrive tonight. He sounds pretty sure of himself. Especially when their own captain don't even know where they are. El Sarazi is a three-day march. And I doubt whether any of you so-called legionnaires are capable of marching that distance. Make us all captains and we can fly. Yo, legionnaire, have us. Have on, here. So you are not only a drunkard, but now you are a comedian, eh? Oh, now look here, Sergeant. I don't think it's necessary. I will be the one who will judge whether it is necessary or not necessary. Well, you're going to be stuffy about stuffy, it. Stuffy, eh? You will confine yourself to barracks until the captain sends for you. I hope you will find that not too stuffy. Now back in the ranks. Back to the pokey. Aye, uh, it's a second home to him. You, Lucia, Gabin, you will stay here with the helicopter. The rest of you, arms sur la pole, huh? Ah. No, my gosh. On our own, march! Huh? That is the last report, received at $2,300 last night. Were there any patrols from the fort? Oh, yes. Last night, and again this morning, absolutely nothing at all. I will confess that I was less concerned thinking that you were leading the column. My orders came through while I was on leave. When I got back to El Sarazi, the column had already left. Uh -huh. Officer commanding? My aide, Lieutenant Rene. Rene, Rene, Rene. No, he's not familiar. He's new. Ah, oh, that's a help. I would prefer you conserve your energy, Captain. Oh, stop fasting, Kleiner. I'm quite all right. I'm compelled to inform you, sir, that you're not as all right as you may think. If you're ready, I will call some men and be the Captain, I intend to leave Fort Velo as a Legion officer, not as a bundle of dirty laundry. 
I will withhold my report when I return to El Sadazi until I hear from you. Contact me at your discretion. Hmm? I would prefer to smother any alarming rumors. Yes. Eh bien. Bon chance, Capitaine. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, shall we go? Something bothering you? No. Well, I was just thinking about the captain. He's a good man. I may miss him. I wish we could have gone with him. <laughs> He'll get us back in as soon as John Column arrives. If it arrives. All the filthy pessimists. Pessimists, eh? Where are they, then? How the devil do I know where they are? They're out there somewhere, and they'll probably be here any minute. Pray that they are, my friend. It would not be pleasant for us to remain here with our new commandant. Well, shut your mouth, Duke. He's a fine man and a good officer. A good officer doesn't ride in comfort while his men march. It does look kind of funny. We are getting out of here, ain't we, Sandy? Certainly we are. We'll be on our way before sunup tomorrow. You have us. Oh, good evening, Sergeant. You will come with me to the captain's office. For right now? Well, of course, that is if, if you have no previous engagement for this evening. No, it's perfectly all right. Thank you, my dear Havers. You are most kind. Now get out there quickly. Meet! March! Do move, gents. Don't wait up for me. <laughs> he spends more time in the pokey than he does in the barracks. <laughs> Just relieve the 20 hundred watts, sir. The sentries report nothing in sight. Yes? What is it, Sergeant? Private Havers reporting, Captain, as the Commandant requested. Havers? Wait, this afternoon? Oh, yes, send him in. Very well, Pasha Master. Go on, march. Un, deux, un, deux, un, deux, un, deux, halt! At ease, Havers. Oh, thank you, sir. You're British, aren't you? Yes, sir, I am, actually. 100%. Mother and father and 11 generations. I get the idea. Any previous military service before the Legion? Of course, sir. Why, well, I was expelled from Sandhurst. I suppose you know it's against regulations to drink while on duty. Well, sir, with a captain leaving an old, sir, I just... Yes, sir, I do, sir. Do you think you could memorize the official regulation regarding that rule? Yes, sir. I'm sure I can, sir. Good. Take all the time you need. Thank you, sir. It's very kind of you, sir. And when you've memorized the tapers, you'll be released. Sergeant Jeppel, see that this man is escorted to the guardhouse. Dismiss, gentlemen. Yeah, oh, now it's on the right. Hush! Hum, do, hum, do, hum. Oh, Sergeant, sir. just a minute. Yes, Captain. Up! Oh. Over on, take this man to the guardhouse. I want you to see that all the sentry posts on top of the wall are doubled. I don't want anybody dozing. Oh, trouble? No, just a precaution. Well, Lieutenant, I guess we'd better turn in. Sir, I thought we'd wake up for the column. Oh, sitting up all night may sound more romantic, Lieutenant, but it's not going to help them much. If everything is all right, then we've lost a lot of sleep for nothing. If it isn't, I'd rather we got some sleep now. Good night, Lieutenant. Good night, sir. Sergeant Dyer Bell! I say, Sergeant! Back home, eh? Well, I hope you will be more comfortable in your natural habitat. 
Oh, yes. Very cosy, thank you, Sergeant. But would you be a good fellow and explain to Marie Chevalier here that I have to memorize some regulations and I need a Legion manual? But of course. I will do better than that. I will get it for you myself. Well, that's awfully good of you. Now, let me see. There must be one somewhere in the French army. I have it. I will write to Paris in the morning. Oh, but I need that book now. I can't get out of here until I memorize the regulations. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, but you should have done that the day you enlisted. Good night, mon petit. Et vous? Prenez votre poste au créneau. Éteignez-vous à veiller. Dis les autres également. Oui, ça. Si vous restez encore longtemps dans cette cage-là, vous vous n'aurez pas de cachouette. Gobble, 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 gobble. Revolutionist! Sergeant of the Guard, post number four! What's wrong up there? Post number four, report! Sergeant, come up here, quickly! Snap out of it. You've seen a cross before. Keep your eye on the wall. Corporal, sound the alert! A burning cross. Burning cross? Yes, Captain. With a man on it. Looks like a legionnaire. Tell them to hurry up with those horses. Right. Take over here and get the board in a state of readiness. Get some men up on this wall and give us a pattern of cover fire. Open the gates. like animals. Get all the stretcher bearers up here on the double. Get moving, soldier. They're bleeding to death. I can make the end easier for them. That's all. I've never seen such mutilation. Slow death like this. He's my Buchenwald. Feiner, I've got to find out who did this. What happened? Can you get one of them in shape to talk? I doubt it. What about the lieutenant? Can you give him something to bring him out of it? I could give him adrenaline. That might work. But the pain. That's cruel. Well, do it. Why don't he let him die in peace? He's lucky he ain't one of them. He's a man. This is no time for sentiment.
sure you want me to. What I want has nothing to do with it. This man is my friend. The whole company is missing. Kleiner, I've got to know what happened. Renee, this is Malcolm, David Malcolm. Can you understand me? Who did it? I was all right about the column yesterday. Jeppel or me? What do you want, a metal fort? If the dialects had only waited one more day before they attacked, just one, we'd be on our way to El Sedezi by now. Presto, my luck is gone. Hmm. If they had waited one more day, it would have been us cut to pieces instead of the relief column. Your luck is holding. All there is left of the column, huh? Every last one. Slaughtered. That's sure. Here comes the answer to the captain's report. Read it off. Full battalion marching this day, 1,200 hours. Under command, Major Henri Fanton. Headquarters insists no independent retaliatory action until full investigation. Good luck, Montclair. The captain by at headquarters this morning. He probably requested a furlough. I wouldn't blame him. I have a feeling things are going to get a little warm around here. When the rocket starts, he'll probably order himself an airplane. <laughs> Listen to me, my young friend. If you do not like the captain, that is your business. But if I were you, I would not criticize something I knew nothing about. That's my opinion, mister. And if you don't like oh, it... Oh, just a minute. Simmer down, Nettie. It's not the captain's fault that his men were killed. And it's mighty fortunate that he wasn't with them. If there is any trouble, every last one of you will be glad he's here. Well, let's have no more growling. The cowboy is frightened. We are all frightened to go. But we are not all cowards. No independent action. Could it be a mistake? There's no mistake. I don't understand. Headquarters is interested in avoiding an incident. This is an incident, sir? Fifty-two men have been murdered. And that brings up another question. What about the others? What could they have done with 44 bodies? I'd rather not think about it. If I could only figure out what made them attack. This is Dalek territory. 300 miles away, for the last 15 years, peaceful country. What set them off? Is it one renegade tribe or a whole dialect nation? Observation! Observation! Sit here without firing a shot. Those are the 
the orders. Look! Bring him to my office. communication with El Sadazi? Yes. Then take this advice. Tell them this fort must be surrendered at once or it will fall to us by sundown. Repeat that. I'm sure the captain understood me the first time. What lunatic ordered you to deliver that message? It came from one who knows. You are the lunatic if you do not obey. Listen carefully. You've slaughtered a company of legionnaires. You've destroyed the peace without warning or provocation. Your tribe is a disgrace to the Arab nations. If the captain will be realistic about the fort, I await his answer. This fort is impregnable and you know it. We can hold out indefinitely and our machine guns will cut you to pieces if you attack. Tell your leader our legion will track him down. Everyone responsible will receive the same mercy given those dying legionnaires you deliver to us. <laughs> that stack of hay into the breach and set it on fire. Yes, sir. Sandy, disassemble those machine guns and bring them down here to bear in the gap. This needs time, Captain. And stop wasting it. Yes, Maggie, I want four squads of men to fall in by the breach. The rest of you men over here on the double, get my head, put it over here. Breach one and two, fall in! Fall in double! And hold your fire until my command.
the rear wall. Resume fire, please. Yes, Captain. You were the one who complained about a year without action. Yes. They didn't have to make up for it all in one day. Off the north wall, sir. They'll pull back and regroup. So we man the ramparts again. No, some of those jokers might be playing possum. Anything up there moves fire. Mackie, I want to count of our effective strength. Yes, sir. Devil, tell the medical officer to return any man to duty who can hold a rifle. I'm sorry, Captain, but Captain Klein has got a bullet. He's dead. Oh? Well, see to it yourself, then. Yes, sir. Earl McTash! Pick up the tail and bring up some extra ammo from the vault. Aye, sir. Five kids. Didn't even get a chance to apologize. I will kill a dialect for each bambino he will not see. Sergeant, you'll need men for the burial detail. But not you, you vulture. The Legion has valuables going to his family's pocket, not into yours. Should not have wasted the tobacco on him. It was not a waste. I enjoyed it. Get their valuables. Headquarters, Algiers. Come on, get this down. Under attack by strong force of armed dialect tribesmen. Gates breached. Situation critical. 26 casualties. 17 dead, 9 wounded. Effective strength 61. Advise if airstrike possible. Position precarious unless air support comes immediately. My television set. Forget it. Here. See if you can get this message off. It's dead, sir. Well, fix it. Fragmentation is cutting the men to pieces. I can't hold the compound. Get in the buildings. Withdraw to the enemy! You've got three feet. If there's anything faster than a bullet, it's a scared Texan. Papers, are you all right? He's the lock. What's all this ammo up? Get as much of this inside as you can. I sir. They've got the apple and Haber is pinned down in the guardhouse. 
All right, move out there, Josh, and get that ammo to distribute this. Hey, comedian, uh, are you all right? Well, Sergeant, nice of you to drop in. <laughs> Non de chien. You smell like a saloon, you're drunk. Not really, old boy. Just had a couple where the war started to bolster up the courage and all that. Yes, and all that. Well, come on, we will leave here quickly. Oh, good show. I was wondering if someone was going to come around. Memorize the regulations, too. Would you like to hear it? I'd do it all for you. Later, when we are alone. Now, come on. Righty. Oh, so that's why you've been hiding it, huh? Clever, wouldn't you say? Stop! Jeff, are you all right? Yes, Captain. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll cover you. Oh, no. Is he dead? No. But he should be. These colonials leave charmed lives. Grab his legs. Ready? I don't know. He's in shock. ran out. No, it didn't. He died quick. Let's bust out of here and take some of them with us. Oh, out there, we got a knife in the belly. I don't know when he'll come around. It's up to you, Lieutenant. Look what he's doing. He's throwing in the sponge. Well, take it easy, lad. He can't do that. Don't let him. Nail us up like they did the other. Stop him. You close your mouth. There is no other way. Like he's come up in the world. I am El Zanal, rightful ruler, sheik paramount of all the Dalek tribes. What I have accomplished in the last two days has taken years of planning. Before I am through, every legion outpost will fall, like the blood fly that attacks the elephant. We will sap your strength in a thousand places. Pan Islam will no longer be a dream, but a reality. In the end, will be the legion that pleads for peace. And the Sahara will belong to the Arab. So now. Malcolm. Well, Captain, it's been a long time. I'm surprised to see you. I would think the Legion had more important duties for a man of your caliber. You're looking well. You look pretty crummy from where I stand, Zanal. You're a filthy butcher. There was no need to come to my defense, sister. The captain's words lack the sting of your whip. My sister is impetuous. Zara, this is Captain David Malcolm. 
I dislike your choice of words, Captain. I am a man with a purpose, and that's why I will succeed. You'll succeed in destroying your people. <laughs> We have wasted enough words. Now we will talk with our knives. Like your buried comrades outside, you will know pain such as few men have endured. And like them, you will. Our knives will be just as sharp later. Take them back. Legionnaires, not whimpering dogs. You all right, sir? I have felt better. Here. Take one of these. For an ex-Sandhurst cadet, you know quite a bit about medicine. I was expelled from the University of Cambridge, too, sir. Medical school. Oh? Yes, sir, actually. The hour has arrived, Legionnaires. Gentlemen, I have pleasant news. This message has saved your lives. It was found in the wreckage of your wireless room. The dispatch informing you that Major Panton is marching on Fort Below. At first, it disturbed me. But then I realized its possibilities. Possibilities I have developed since I last saw you. Suppose the gates were repaired, the fort restored, and suppose some of you legionnaires were on the ramparts. Everything looks normal, natural. The proper signal is given. The gates open and the column enters. There's no need to tell them the rest, my brother. I'm sure they understand. What makes you think any of my men would lead a battalion into your slaughterhouse? To save their own lives. There are those among you who would betray in order to live. I have obtained information on the men here and at other places I intend to strike. I have your complete histories. I can pick men from these records. However, first I shall ask for volunteers. Those who assist will be spared and given safe conduct to the coast. Those who refuse to cooperate... There's something you haven't figured on, Zanel. Our wireless was damaged beyond repair. If we don't acknowledge the column's daily reports, they'll know there's something wrong. <laughs> you underestimate me, Malcolm. My operator has already radioed the Major how much you anticipate his arrival. We have our own signal corps. I called for an airstrike before our wireless went out. How are you going to stop that? I couldn't have. But I know it was never sent. <laughs> now you're bluffing, Zanel. You couldn't possibly know that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Captain. But I do. We found the message. And your operator informed us. With persuasion, of course. That he had not dispatched it. I will give each of you one hour to decide. Shall it be cooperation? or a rather unpleasant death. Take your time, Captain. I'll expect an answer in an hour. Just a minute. You can have your answer right now. Do what's your language, sir. There's a lady present. That's a rather hasty decision, Malcolm. Wouldn't you like to think it over? There's nothing to think about. You've got everything pretty well covered. We haven't got a chance. I accept your terms. You surprise me. I didn't expect such quick acceptance. Or could it be that you are underestimating me again? I know too much about you, Malcolm, 
You are not a man who gives up easily. I'm not giving up. I want another crack at you, Zanel. I can only get it if I stay alive. It shall be as you say. I'd like that hour anyway to talk to my men. I don't think they all feel about this the way I do, and I'd like to try to convince them. Very well. But remember, Captain, I trust no one. When the column approaches, don't think any of you will be able to warn them. Behind each legionnaire will be two of my men. The knives are sharp and they use them expertly. And Captain, I will be watching you. to be disrespectful, but what you just told that pig is not true, huh? We will fight our way out of here. We haven't got a chance, Diablo, and you know it. There's always a chance if you're not yellow. But stop that kind of talk, Rex. He didn't mean that, sir. He's just that he's all tightened up. Don't go apologizing for me, Sandy. I said it before and I say it again. I think he's yellow. Maybe everyone else here is afraid to talk up. But I'm telling you what I think, captain or no captain. It ain't no secret that you knew that stinking Arab before. And it looks like just what you could expect from a lousy Yankee with a streak of yellow down his back as white as a Mississippi. It's a sellout. And I ain't gonna let a battalion of men get butchered to save your smelly heart. Now you listen to me, Texan. And get this straight, all of you. Fighting a war, any kind of a war, big or small. It isn't all big parades and rebel shouts. And this isn't Custer's last stand. Forget all about that. Remember the Alamo stuff. Now let this sink into your thick skulls. If I told that lunatic Zanel to go to hell, our strongest and best men would have died. Sure, there are some of you who are willing to cooperate. And those are the ones who'll be left behind to carry out his orders. When the enemy holds every advantage, you've got to play for time. The main thing is to save that column. Live men can do it. Dead men can't. Good show. Excellent show, as a matter of fact. All right, quiet. Now shut up, one of you! You heard your commandant, now close your flapping mouth, sale idiot. Well done, Captain. Captain, sir. I reckon what the lad did is inexcusable, sir, but... Never mind, Sandy. I can apologize for myself. I guess you could have me shot for what I'd done, Captain. I wouldn't blame you. Forget it. We've got other things to talk about. It's true, I've known Zanel for some time. And this much I can tell you. He's a pretty thorough worker. He's not bluffing when he says he knows which of our men he can trust. Which of our men he can count on. I know a few of you myself. We can stop Zanel. You'll all be told what to do at the right time. you are so young and have learned so much. I have found most men very anxious and willing teachers. There is something to be gained from all, the wise and the simple. One has but to learn. Is he 
wise or simple? The captain. Yes. I would not care to speculate, my princess. But there are ways of learning. How? In this instance, Highness, I would rely upon that instinct you mentioned before. We'll go along with Zanel until the column's within sight. But, Captain, you heard what he said about those knives in our back. If we try to yell, we'd be knocked off before we even saddled up. We're not going to saddle up. We can't get word to them from the wall, so we're going to have to do it from inside. In the vault under my quarters, there are 50,000 rounds of ammunition and 1,500 pounds of explosive. Enough to blow Fort Velo and every dialect in it all over the desert. Well? Well, Captain, if this uh, little frolic does come off, what, uh, I mean, what happens to us? I'll give you one big fat kiss. I see. Well, <laughs> you know, it's odd. When I joined the Legion, my whole family said I'd wind up plastered all over the desert. <laughs> Any more questions? How do we reach the vault, Captain? I don't know yet. We play for time and wait for the breaks. Maybe make a deal of our own. You will come with me. You think they'll rough him up? It's hard to say. Mr. Zanal is the perfect example of megalomania. Completely unpredictable. Huh? General psychiatry. Elementary stuff. In here. You may relax, Captain. We are quite alone. There are many things about you that I find disturbing. For instance? Won't you sit down? For one, you're not the coward you'd like people to believe. Why did you accept my brother's terms? That isn't hard to figure out. He's holding a fistful of aces. Aces? He has all the odds in his favor. He told you himself he knows the men in my command who do anything to stay alive. Why should the rest of us die for nothing? You are a realist, Captain. Americans usually are. And yet I've heard so many wonderful things about your country. Still, you are in the Legion. Is that realistic? For me, yes. You must have had a strong reason to give up so much. Most Legionnaires have. I'm sorry I struck you today. Why did you? It must have been for something more than my telling your brother what I thought of him. You're pretty young to have so much bitterness stored up inside of you. There's that same look. Who are you mad at? Your legionnaires murdered my father. I was eight years old then. We were at peace, yet they killed everyone without reason. But that's impossible. It couldn't have happened that way. I saw it. My eyes don't lie. Well, you said you were only a child. You could have been wrong. Why do you defend them? You're a foreigner, an American. But that has nothing to do with it. You have your facts all twisted. You're a liar and a murderer. Tom all. Take him back. Master, the column will arrive tomorrow morning after daybreak. Allah favors us. Acknowledge you have received the message. Yes, Master. All 
will be in readiness hours before the column arrives. Excellent. I told you to watch the work closely, Yala. Those fools are using the wrong wood for the gates. Pretty thorough boys. There won't be a piece of wood out of place. Anton could be sitting in Zanel's lap before he even knew what was going on. Did you find the captain's record? Yes, I read it. During the last war, while he was attached to the Free French here in North Africa, his American wife and child were killed in an automobile accident. He never went back. He did have good reason. He must have loved them deeply. Yes, he must have. You've taken no interest in our preparation. That's not like you. When the time comes, I will be at your side as always. We have ridden far together at the head of our people. In time, we shall lead every tribe in North Africa. Brother, I have been thinking. These legionnaires who will help you, when this is over, where will they live? Where will they go? Nowhere. Once they have served their purpose, they will be killed. But you gave them your word. I know what you're thinking. You've never known me to go back on it. But this is a crusade. Anything is justified. Must they all die? What do you mean? Suppose some of them could be made to think as we do. I've yet to meet a foreigner who can think as we do. Jamal! But think, once you help my brother, even your own country will not take you back. I offer you a new life. A new life? You mean you want me to join your cause? Why not? Once you betray the column, what's the difference? Last night you called me a murderer. And now you want me on your side. Why? Does it matter? I'm giving you a chance to live. I already have that from your brother. But I'm offering you more, much more. I still want to know, why me? Because you have nothing to go back to. No wife, no... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. What else do you know about me? What's the difference? You must join us. If this is your brother's way of fighting a war, we're going to lose an awful lot of men. <laughs> Both of us will be ready when the time comes. For Princess Zara. Zala, the captain has a way with the ladies. And the nicest part of it is he's making this very difficult sacrifice just for us. The very model of an officer and a gentleman. He's a pretty good officer, all right. But I'm afraid after tonight, the princess ain't going to think he's much of a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you sent for him twice. The first time because you were angry. And the second time? To ask him to join us. So that's why you were so concerned about our prisoners. I'm only interested in one prisoner. Obviously. How interested? Enough to know he must not die. He's a legionnaire. He's a man I want. Oh. And what are his feelings? The same as mine. So quickly? I'm afraid you're guided more by your heart than your reason. 
I won't let you treat him like the others. Very well, if you feel this strongly. But with so much at stake, I cannot trust him. After tomorrow, if I'm convinced that he feels the same as you, then his life is yours. I'm right about him, Zanoff. You will learn that. Until I do, it would be best if you did not see him again. trust you. He's forbidden me to see you until the column is destroyed. Suppose he finds out I'm in here. He's too busy making preparations for the mob. Oh, I wish it were all in the past. It will be soon. I'm sorry it has to be this way. No more than I am. Your hand, Sergeant. Yes, Bez de Sello. Take a good look, my sister. This is the man you trusted. The man you wanted to save. Think. Think how he has used you. The captain must think me very young. And very sentimental. And very stupid. Slowly, Zara. Everything in its proper time.
jammed in. They're going crazy in here. I could not let the column see my horses or your uncooperative legionnaires. That was a simple solution. According to the latest report, Major Pantan should be here in less than two hours. From this vantage point, you will be able to see every fascinating detail. Voila, le massacre. Au revoir, mon capitaine. Remember, you are legionnaires. Look alive, all of you. Nephew, the most glorious moment of your father's revenge draws near. As you've always told me, Uncle. Now you will see it bear fruit. Yes. That is the important thing. Victory and power. But as for avenging my father's death, we both know better, don't we, Yala? Better? When I assumed leadership nine years ago, I was determined to find my father's murders. I did, Yala. They were not legionnaires. They were hired assassins. Hired by you. You? You are mistaken. I have confessions. They lied. No, Yala. They confessed as they died. They spoke the truth. It was the only way. Your father was weak. He had to die. so strong that it cannot be smothered in an instant. No personal relationship so close that it cannot be severed like that. These are the things you taught me. I am in your eternal debt. time, all things pass, if you let them. Must you stay here? In your present state, your brother thought it wise not to leave you alone. I order you to go. My regrets, princess, I must stay. You're no ordinary person. To rule, one must sacrifice. And murder. Your place is at your brother's side. I have no brother. You've taken him from me. Driven him insane with ambition and blinded me with hatred. You should have murdered me as you did my father. I shall never stand beside either of you again. You have no choice. It is your destiny. To kill innocent men? Innocent? Such as Captain Malcolm, who used you and almost destroyed us all? It would have been better. Then you prefer to die with him than live with your own people. At least he was trying to save the lives of his friends. Regardez! Regardez! Voila! There! We did say!
Do not fire until they are well within the compound. You will all stay hidden until my signal. Listen to me, everyone. You'll remain out of sight until the machine guns have done their work. Then your knives can finish off the few who are left. Fort Velu, calm and peaceful, as I knew it as a wine merchant. Pass the board along to close ranks. Battalion, very well, please. Right, colonel. Always a reassuring sight. Yeah, Major. It will be nice to get back into quarters again. Soon they will whistle a different tune. Huh. Watch them enter. I'm going out. You fool, it's too late. Open the gate.
Much better this way. Probably uh, been dishonorably discharged anyway. Sandy? Would you speak to the captain? If he could manage a small medal or something. Family would be awfully proud. The biggest in Africa. take into consideration the help she has been. I'm sure they will. My respects to Major Fenton. I'll be in my office. Yes. Again, I will die soon enough. Why are you rushing me? Huh? Mm. Sedatives tasted like cognac. You would be a world of invalids. By the way, Kleiner, speaking of cognac. No. Sir. <coughs> Pardon, Commandant. Yes, Captain. From El Sada's ether. Your helicopter is on the way and should arrive at any time. I see. Thank you, Caporal. Uh, by the way, what about the relief column? Have you managed to raise them yet? Not a word, sir. Does anyone know? No, sir. 
But Sergeant Diapo was asking, sir. What did you tell him? Just as you had instructed, that we have heard from them. Oh, uh, yeah. Entree. Commandant, the patrol reports nothing in sight. No trouble at all. What do you think, sir? What do I think? Nothing. What is there to think? No, Marquis, ten years ago, we might have expected trouble. Uh, an Arab or Berber attack. But there hasn't been a rumble from the Rips, Dilacs, or Bormones for years. And even then, I wouldn't worry. With Malcolm leading the relief column. Malcolm? Is that the American? The one they call the uh, Le Marteau? Yes. Captain David Malcolm. My replacement. A real nail splitter. Young, but a legionnaire. Formidable. He could lead a hundred grandmothers through the Boxer Rebellion without disturbing their coiffeur. <laughs> Le Marteau. The hammer. It is romantic. I confess I feel slighted that my commands never found a name for me. Oh, I have heard to the contrary, Commander. Aha. Then I would prefer a name which would bear repetition, Captain. <laughs> Hello. Remember, we only know that the relief column is not due for several hours and that they have failed to make their daily wireless report. Perhaps the equipment. Perhaps. You keep your earphones glued to your head and report to me the moment you hear anything at all. Yes, sir. I could buy a hundred cavalry horses for all the haggling we have done for these two skins of wine. As we both know, Sergeant, Allah wishes men to talk much before they do business. Well, I pity my poor replacement. He will have to put up with your brow beating from now on. Ah, yes, the replacement. I saw no sign of them. Don't worry, they will be here. If it is Allah's wish. Allah has got nothing to do with it. The Legion still takes its orders from Algiers. Look at the apple. He tells us liquor is forbidden in the compound, and he buys it right out there in the broad daylight. He doesn't buy it for himself, Lucky. We all drink a farewell toast to this prison before we leave. I say, did I hear someone mention something about a farewell toast or something? <laughs> Heaver has been saying farewell ever since he got here. I don't think that's very funny. You Scots have a weird sense of humor, I must say. You must have enough... remaining alive. Make certain. Be careful of the children.
patrol. Now stop your blathering and open the gates. It's us, the afternoon patrol. That's no way to answer a challenge, Corporal. Oh, forget the formalities, laddie. We'll all be kissing this place goodbye in the morning. Open the gate. did you go? Oh, the usual. Ten kilometers, sir. Did you see anything unusual, irregular? No, sir. Nothing? Nothing at all? No. Oh, only uh, Jala, the wine merchant, coming in behind us, sir. Very good, Corporal. Oh, excuse me, sir. But, uh, how is Captain Moncler, sir? Resting comfortably, Corporal. Oh, thank you, sir. That's good to hear. What did he mean, did we see anything? What were we supposed to see? Mirages, laddie. Dancing lasses in shimmering silk popping around amidst champagne bubbles. He didn't look like that was what he meant. Ah, the Lieutenant Marquis. He's always upset about something. Maybe he has a right to be. What are you jowing about? There is a rumor, just a rumor, that no wireless report has been received from our relief column today. Now, if you ask me... Shut up! You talk too much. Is there anything to it, Diego? We will leave tomorrow morning, as planned. Now, water your horses. This is a fort, not a barnyard for cackling hens. Any word yet? Just came in. Their transmitting equipment broke down. Oh, so that was it, huh? Well, good. When are you going to have this foolish masterpiece finished, eh? Even if it is never used, I will have the only television set in all the Sahara Desert. That is an achievement. That is crazy. Hey, what do you suppose is on his tail? Is it possible that his television set is working? <laughs> that I don't. More likely there's a report from the relief column. This wireless dispatch just came in for the captain, Doctor. Coming, Corporal. Service. The column will still arrive tonight. He sounds pretty sure of himself. Especially when their own captain don't even know where they are. El Sarazi is a three-day march. And I doubt whether any of you so-called legionnaires are capable of marching that distance. Make us all captains and we can fly. You, legionnaire Havos. Avant, here. So you are not only a drunkard, but now you are a comedian, eh? Oh, now look here, Sergeant. I don't think it's necessary. I will be the one who will judge whether it is necessary or not necessary. Well, you're going to be stuffy about stuffy, it. Stuffy, eh? You will confine yourself to barracks until the captain sends for you. I hope you will find that not too stuffy. Now back in the ranks. Back to the pokey. Aye, it's a second home to him. You, Lucia, Gabin, you will stay here with the helicopter. The rest of you, arms to the pole, huh? No, my gosh. On our own, march! That is the last report, received at $2,300 last night. Were there any patrols from the fort? Oh, yes. Last night, and again this morning, absolutely nothing at all. I will confess that I was less concerned thinking that you were leading the column. My orders came through while I was on leave. When I got back to El Sarazi, the column had already left. Uh -huh. Officer commanding? My aide, Lieutenant René. René, René, René. No, he's not familiar. He's new. Ah, oh, that's a help. I would prefer you conserve your energy, Captain. Oh, stop fussing, Kleiner. I'm quite all right. I'm compelled to inform you, sir, that you're not as all right as you may think. If you're ready, I will call some men and be... Captain, I intend to leave Fort Valo as a Legion officer. 
Not as a bundle of dirty laundry. I will withhold my report when I return to El Sadazi until I hear from you. Contact me at your discretion. Hmm? I would prefer to smother any alarming rumors. Yes. Eh bien. Bon chance, Capitaine. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, shall we go? that Arab hoot stashed around and float the fort away. Hardly, Rex, old boy. But I uh, might manage a little one all round. What's your name, the legionnaire? Tile, Rex. Private, sir. Where are you from? Texas, sir. You're not a cowpuncher now, Tile. Don't dress like one. Havers, Peter Ambrose, private. How do you do, sir? Have you been drinking, Havers? What Sergeant, I want to see this man later. Yes, sir. Still around, eh, Duco? How's the captain? He could be better, sir. Have Lieutenant René meet me at the captain's quarters. Who is Lieutenant René? The officer in charge of my company, the replacement. But they have not arrived yet, Captain. Oh? Thank you, Sergeant. Carry on. René, hello. Uh, no matter what rumors you may have heard from the latrine secret 